Hey, greetings fellow makers. Welcome down to Ted's shop. Hi, shop. We're down here in Southern California, hanging out with my buddy Ted. And, uh, oh, and I'm Bill, that's right. <laughs> From Punish Props. From Punish Props. And Ted, you guys know Ted. Yes, I do. And uh, I had a question for Bill that right. I watched Bill make amazing patterns and he kept telling me this about stuff about Inkscape. Yeah. Oh, just get Inkscape. So I got it, I'm like, I'm stumbling through the dark, like, I, Bill, I need help with things. Ted needs help. So you guys know Ted is a master of making patterns, right? Yeah. The patterns are awesome, but they are analog. Yes, they are. Old school. Oh, I do duct tape and I transfer them to yep. poster board and I clean up my lines yeah. with a Sharpie when I cut them out. And I thought that's a really effective way to make patterns. But then to get those patterns to you, they need to be digital. The See. easiest way to do that. Uh, so I'm gonna give you guys and Ted that's me. I just a believe. personal walkthrough how to take paper patterns and translate them to digital using a free application called Inkscape. If you like it as well, I have a full premium video over on punishprops.com that dives into all the nuts and bolts, but here's the basics. You ready to go, Ted? Yes, I'm ready. All right, you're ready to go. Let's cool. do it. To get started, Ted drew out his patterns. Yes, sir. They look very head. good. Thank you. And laid them out on his gridded paper or gridded mat, cutting mat. Right, so you're telling me I could use these inches on my cutting mat to reference my pattern? That's correct. The inches marks will help us scale it later. Now to get it into the computer, I use a really low tech solution. I take a picture of it with my cell phone. Wait, wait, you're gonna take a picture with your cell phone? Yes. Now, does it have to be flush, accurate, top, how? Yeah, you wanna square up the edges of the photo as best you can with the lines on your cutting mat. Okay. Once you've taken a good photo, you need to send it to your computer somehow. I use Dropbox, but you could also email it from your phone to your computer. Then, you need to install Inkscape. And like I said, Inkscape is 100% free. You go to inkscape.org, download it for whatever computer platform you use, and install it. Wow, this that easy. Even Ted could do it. <laughs> <laughs> then, the photo that you took of your pattern, simply drag it into your Inkscape or go up to File, Insert, and you can insert it there and it'll pop up. Just use the default settings, it'll pop up in your computer. Oh. Right, ready to go. Look, there it is, look at that. Not a problem. After that, then, you need to scale it. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. All right, I'm scared. First thing you do, you select your image and you change the opacity of it so that you can see through it. Okay. And then you go to File, right. Document Properties. Right there. And then you change the width of your document oh, okay. to a width, a known width on the ruler in your image. So this way it keeps it accurate, yes. the size I'm going to want it to be. So in this case we went from 31 to 43. Right. That's 22 inches, so we made the width of our document 22 inches. So, and now this will scale up, so if they output, output this, it'll still be the same size. Correct. This makes sure that the final image will be 100% scaled. Got it. Then, you can move your image to line up one of those dimensions, in this case the 21 inch mark. We line it up with the uh, left line, the okay. left side of your document. Got it. And then you hold control mm -hmm. and click on the little arrow on the corner oh, to rescale your image proportionately. Got it. Until the right side lines up with the 43 mark. Wow. Got it. And you can tweak back and forth until it just fits in between those, but then you know your image is scaled 100% So no matter what I do from now, it's that size. That's correct. Got it. Then you can center your image. Okay. You can change the document property so that it uh, encompasses all of your patterns. Mm -hmm. And then this is important. All right. You've made this image on a layer and you don't want to alter it anymore. So in the layer settings, you click on the little lock. Oh, okay, that's why it looks like a lock. So once I right. lock it, it's set. Yeah. Okay. But you need to make a new layer on top of that to draw your pattern. All right. So you just get a layer. Got it. New layer. Ah. You can name it whatever you want. Well, okay, I'll call you can it. even name it outline. Then grab the pen tool and trace your corners. Just click on all the corners okay. of your pattern. Right. Now it's just going to make straight lines. Oh, but I we'll, see. Got we'll it. alter it later. Right. Yeah, because they're straight now. I'm not going yeah. to be able to manip manipulate these. Yes. Okay. So the last thing you can do is click on the, the first place where you started, that closes the whole pattern. Got it. Then you can grab the move tool, mm -hmm. and if you double click on the line, right. you can then alter it. Oh. You can literally just click on a line and drag it and it'll curve it to your needs. I see. Yeah, 
And if you click on the line again, little arms will show up okay. that'll give you a little bit more fine control. Okay, I see now. So if I move this, it moves that. Yes. Got it. Uh, and there's a lot of tweaking you can do at this point to get it just right. But I'll be able to clean up my patterns by doing right. this. So if your pattern, the line that you drew is a little sloppy because you drew it by hand, this will let you clean it up and even everything uh, okay. out. Much better. Yeah. Now, if you need to add more detail, I try and keep the lines as simple as possible, but while you're editing it, you can double click on a line and it will add a new node, and then you can move that around okay. to add a little bit more detail. So if I'm really obsessed about a particular curve. Yeah, like okay. exactly. But I try and keep it as simple as possible. The computer's gonna make lines way smoother than if I try and place a lot of them individually. Yes, I can see that. Okay, so you keep that going until the curves look the way you want them to. Okay. And then you can add your those registration marks that you like oh, so much. Just in, so I can just take the, what tool to use there. That was the pencil tool. Right. right. To draw simple straight lines. From top to bottom. You just click and click and it makes a new line. Boom. And you can go all the way around and click on all of your registration marks Done. and add them to your pattern. Done. You can also add other descriptive things like text. Ooh. So there's just, that. yeah, it's just that. a text tool. You just click on the text tool, click in your document, and type whatever you want. Oh, wait, so wait, can, so the V registrations for bevel end cuts. Yeah. I can do that with just a V. Just the letter V. And rotate it. Yep, so you can click in, type the letter V, Got and it. then use the move tool. Uh -huh. You can move it in place, and then if you click on it again, it will give you rotation commands. Nice, okay. And you can spin it around. Excellent. And then move it in place. Now, if you need more of them, you don't have to draw it again. You can just select the object and hit Control D. Oh, you copy it. It duplicates it. It's layered on top of the other one, but if you move it, you'll see that there's, see a, there's a new one. Yeah, so you move that over to the other place and then rotate it and get it exactly where you like it. And then just rinse and repeat. Keep doing that until you've drawn your entire pattern. Fantastic. So I'm going to take over and draw the rest of it. It's okay with you, Ted? Uh, yes, please. All right, we'll time lapse it, and I'll, <laughs> I'll show you how the rest of the process goes. But it's just that same thing over and over again. Uh, but there are there are some other tweaks you can do. You can add a circle. Right. Just use the circle, circle tool. Nice. Um, but then trace everything. Wonderful. I like the concept that you're doing the same thing digitally. What I do with transferring my duct tape patterns to my poster board patterns, I clean them up the lines. Exactly. But now you, you can never beat and make them clean as you can as the computer. Yeah. So once you practice quite a bit, you can get it to look even better than you could ever do it by right. hand. Mind blown, yes. I'm ready to open this. So the last thing you want to do, if you, you can hide the, uh, the image. Right. So if you go select that layer and hit the eyeball, it'll disappear. Oh, see, now you can see. Yeah. It. Okay. And then that will, uh, then you just have your pattern. Fantastic. Now to print that, there are a lot of different ways you can do it. My favorite way is just to go to File, right. Save a Copy, so but I'll, yes. I'll save it right. as a PDF file. Ah. And then I can put it on that USB drive, right. and I can take it to Kinko's or Office Max or anywhere where they print stuff really big mm -hmm. and ask them to print it at 100% scale. So there, there you go. That's how you make your huge pattern. If you want to print it at home, there are ways to print large things in multiple pages. Because you can do that as well. Yeah, and I believe uh, we'll link to some uh, tutorial videos where you can check that out. Uh, out but below. Adobe Acrobat, I think, has an option to do that, and it will print it out in multiple pages, and then you can cut it up and glue it together. True, but I actually like going. I like going. Kiko's getting a big yeah. giant sheet. And yeah. You just put it down, cut and it's it. cheap. And it's I've gotten cheap. prints done like three feet by four feet. And it was like, I got two copies, it was like 10 bucks. Yeah, I'm the same way. Yeah. Super and I always get extra copies too, because I will ruin one of them. Yes, I will. Well, there well, you go. Dude, that was awesome. Yeah. And I, again, I won't lie, I'm slightly intimidated, but mm -hmm. I know the more I play with this program, yep. the better I'll get at it. And Ted got my full Inkscape premium video, again, over at punishprops.com, just five bucks. Five bucks, guys. Ted's got it. He's going to watch it. He's going to study it. up. And he's going to be cranking out more and more templates to have up on his website at eviltedsmith.com. That is correct. And if you guys want to just try some of his patterns, he's got some free ones there. Yes, I do. So you can go try those out. And when you like them, you'll go get some of the more advanced ones and throw a couple bucks this way to help him out. Please. And the patterns <laughs> coming forward uh, from now are yep. going to be awesome. Yes, they are. Because, because he's going to be an Inkscape <laughs> wizard. Inkscape <laughs> wizard. Guys, thank you so much. Yeah. It feels awesome. And those of you guys who are maybe new to the channel and you don't know Evil Ted Smith, where should they go to check you out You guys can stuff? check me out at eviltedsmith.com. You okay. guys can also catch me on Twitch. I stream live Mondays and Tuesdays from 9 to 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I do Thursdays from noon to 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. There you go. Thank you, Bill. You're welcome, Ted. Thanks for having me in your shop. Ooh, it was awesome. Thank you for educating me. I will catch on to digital people. I will catch on. It's going to happen. All right. Thank you again so much for watching. We'll check you guys out all in the next build.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss any of our new weekly prop and costume tutorial videos. For more goodies, head over to our website where you'll find blueprints, tutorial books, articles, and more. We also have a second channel for our Q&A show and extra behind the scenes videos. Thanks again and happy crafting.